So today we're doing a brand new quest called One Sided, which was recently introduced in BT6 in update 45. Now this quest goes like this. You can only place towers on the top half of Infernal and the balloons will only come along the bottom path. Note high level monkey knowledge is recommended. So uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. I actually beat this quest already and I did it on accident. Let me tell you all about that. Okay, so first things first, let me show you guys how the map looks like in case you haven't checked it out. So this is basically the map Infernal. We're playing on Impopo mode, so the prizes are going to be a little crazier than usual. And so as you guys can see there are all of these barriers or objects that have been purposely placed onto these islands so that they block placement but the cool thing about them is that they only block placement not line of sight which means that you can still use snipers and stuff on these platforms okay so i'm gonna start with an ace i'm gonna put this guy on a wing monkey not sure if this is the best choice but i started my previous run like this the accidental one that i told you guys about and actually the way that that happened was i was like let me just check out the quest because even though we got early access i hadn't checked it out like i didn't know what was happening with this one and then I, you guys know how you just kind of forget yourself you kind of keep playing and you're like let me place this tower and let me see what happens on this round and by the time that you realize what's been going on it's like it's the bad around 100 and you've beaten it well <laughs> that thing happened to me so i accidentally beat this one but i'm gonna use a completely different strategy because the strategy that i used in my previous run was well not good to say the least all right so we're gonna start with ben i am probably gonna have ben like right here onto these platforms or maybe we should save that for another tower i don't know let me just yeah sure let's place ben right over here and actually is this even like a good idea <laughs> is the ace gonna defend by itself oh uh, it's gonna be close oh my god no mana shield okay so maybe we can get away by getting like a sniper right off the bat let's have this guy on strong and hopefully these guys survive okay, i don't like this one bit i bought the rapid fire but this thing is so so inconsistent let me just move the sniper to first do we snipe it oh my god these early rounds man they're so annoying so something happening with this quest you guys probably might have noticed it already but the way these rounds are going because we're only playing onto the bottom half that means that we're not playing 100 rounds actually we're only playing 50 rounds so the rounds that actually come out from the bottom are only the even number of rounds it's gonna be like 18 and then the next one is gonna be around 20 and then 22 and so forth so you guys might have a question what happens to the cash because well you're not playing all those rounds which probably oh my god that's close by the way all right there we go so i bought the second sniper and for some reason i had this one on. one of these guys was on close so i set both of them on strong and out i think this should be a lot better oh let me move them to first this is really unreliable let me use the ability let's see if this is gonna change yeah that's a huge damage increase but hopefully they don't stop attacking like right now oh my god that's close please yes there we go that was ridiculous okay so now we can just get the night vision goggles get rid of the count balloon and are we doing fine guys what is happening <laughs> all right so as far as i can tell with the with how the money goes onto this one so uh, i think you get the money from these rounds that you don't play but i actually noticed something very weird in the later rounds because i don't think you're getting the full amount so what i mean by that is for example we're in round 28 and look at the cash we got 800 we're closer to 900 so benji made i think uh, he's making about 120 per round you get about a hundred dollars per round or something like that but we did get a lot more money than we were supposed to so i think that the income that we were supposed to get from round 29 it actually gets added up now when it comes to these late game rounds i i'm not exactly sure if it still works like that because or maybe it's just that we're playing on in pop up mode and these prices are just so much higher than usual that i i don't really have a feel on what how the money is going and why things are so expensive but i did kind of get the impression that we're not exactly getting all the cash in the later rounds and actually this is a kind of a difficult quest i'm gonna be honest so that's why i went for ben we need a hero that makes money and i i think that the, because we're playing on a pop-up mode once you get the cash going i think you shouldn't have any issues and also it's a really cool map for heroes in general because we're playing on infernal and infernal is an expert map so heroes get 30 percent xp bonus on expert maps which means that we're going to be leveling a lot faster and we're going to be getting a lot more cash a lot more income from benji all right so so far so good we are only defending with a 200 ace 022 on this sniper and then this one is a 100 so so far so good but we need to start upgrading things and i was thinking oh wait a minute how are we holding on with this one it's gonna be super close yeah we need to upgrade something uh maybe the are we getting the sniper yeah let's get the bouncy bullet onto this guy all right i think now it's time for the alchemist we have three and a half thousand dollars we don't exactly have that much more power power but i do have a solution for that so let's go for something like a three zero zero just so this guy's getting both this is the most important one currently and how are we doing versus the level one more lead balloon i'm gonna need oh <gasps> that's close do we risk it i think we risk it yeah let's take the risk oh my god that's ridiculous oh my god that's very good all right here comes around 40 more so good thing about this one is that we have benji so uh, you know the trojan is gonna be active so we're going to, need to deal with the moab layer but are we gonna deal with it i think we should activate the ability let me just click it and this is gonna get close again but we do take it down yes so when you think about these rounds and how they're going right so we're we're not playing the odd number rounds so that means you know rounds like for example 49 which is gonna be a huge wave of balloons we're not gonna be seeing that that's very good camel what's 59 we're not gonna be seeing those round 63 huge waves of ceramics 
we're not gonna have to defend those so that's kind of good right but on the other hand we are getting all of the most difficult rounds in the game so for example a 90 well actually you know what we're not even seeing the ddt's on 95 now i'm just remembering this that's really cool but all these other rounds like 94 96 98 the most beefy rounds and then around 100 the bad we are playing all of those guys so yeah all right so round 49 how are we doing we're so far so good it's defending it's like this weird setup but i feel like this sniper is doing a lot of heavy lifting with the alchemist now we are missing a lot of mob damage so i was thinking maybe we go for something like the fire plane i'm just gonna keep it as a 310 actually because uh if you get the exploding pineapple it gives spears to the rockets so it's not like we're getting a lot of extra mob damage but i think it's gonna be just enough until we go into our game winning towers oh and hold on is this fine this sniper yes it's cleaning out and i'm just thinking between a couple of things so and i wish i could ask you guys so what should we do about this so i have two ideas and two ways that i want to go about this one so first one is going for the supply drop and then the elite sniper what you want to be doing is you need these global towers right and so that's going to be the buccaneer and i was thinking of getting the carpet of spikes and these guys are super super expensive so what do we do do we just go straight for the buccaneer i think we should right so let's go for something like oh we don't even have the money oh man 9.6k the air just the aircraft carrier 9.6k can this guy attack at least no he cannot he can't even see them oh my god we're leaking okay we have to do something about this one okay so let's actually delay the aircraft carrier just by a little bit if i get the stronger stimulant how much is this gonna change the course of this entire round because it is gonna make the brew a lot stronger and it's gonna be uh, able to provide 100 uptime for both of the towers and actually we don't care about the 100 on the the 100 we care about the 100 on this guy at the bottom and i think already this is looking a lot better oh my god the power of the stronger sim did i jinx it i don't think so i think he's defending actually it's kind of close but yes there we go all we needed was a 4 to 0 alchemist like i'm telling you guys this this thing is no joke this is not like it like one of those you know walk in the park type of quests where you just buy things and you win all right can we finally afford the aircraft carrier i think this is gonna be the round yeah so 9.6k finally let's buy these guys i think we have to go for the bottom crossbar right just because that's the crossbar that sees camo although now that i think about it we're not gonna be having oh wait a minute i should not have went for this crossbar actually now that i think about this because we're not gonna be having that many camo balloons in general right yeah i know we're gonna lose a little bit of cash we're playing with full monkey knowledge so actually the selling is well it's not that bad as bad as it could be so yeah let's rebuy this thing as actually it's a 420 and now we've stabilized a little bit i'm pretty sure so now we can do a couple of things so for example this guy the 310 fire plane this thing is probably no longer necessary but i'm gonna keep it on screen just a little while and let me just check benji's level oh look at this thing level 11 so he is guys look at this thing a thousand dollars per round we're also getting the money from well we're gonna get the money from round 65 so take a look at the cash now so we have 3.6k it's actually gonna be closer to 4k i guess once we pop both of these guys let me just check the money three point oh actually they're trojan but yeah look at this thing six thousand dollars okay so that's a thousand dollars from benji a little bit of extra end of round cash and then everything else is i think the money that you're supposed to be getting from these uh, intermediate rounds like the odd number rounds right honestly so far so good so my previous playthrough the accidental one that i was telling you guys about i used sigh and uh you know it was because it, i wasn't making any money i think i bought the elite sniper actually so i was i was just farming a little bit with supply drops but that's that's not ideal and it was such a messy round like i was timing the level i had sai over here and i was timing their level three ability and i was like stunning these bob class balloons and i also had the fire plane i bought it into the ods and i was i was trying to fit like an alchemist over here and look at the spot guys you can't even fit an alchemist this is like such a tight spot so i i had a sniper i had sai i had this thing and i was just like restarting rounds left and right and i i kind of went for the carpet of spikes eventually and that seemed to have you know done the, the majority of the work i think we should use the level 10 ability so that we reduce because what's going out next to me round 76 is going to be a huge wave so i think we should use the level 10 ability just so we we get out with rainbows right so let me try and time this i i can't get a gauge on when this round is gonna end because, because everything's getting popped so close to the start but i think it's not okay so let's use it now yes there we go we got all of it i think and it's just a bunch of rainbows so yeah the sniper can defend and oh they're actually making it past are we gonna are we gonna defend this yes oh my god that was such a good idea actually doing that okay and finally we have the money for the carrier flagship just on time because well it is round uh, 78 so the first wave of 78 is gonna get defended but we are gonna have some issues for the second one because it's gonna be camel balloons so let's actually try and do the same thing that we did for 76 for the camel wave onto 78 and i think it's it's probably not gonna be as bad as the previous one because the snipers do plus two damage versus camel balloons so it's only gonna be this guy defending like for sure but maybe he's gonna be able to do it by himself so uh, there we go i used the ability i think i got like half of it at the back so as long as we defeat the first half we should be fine we're not defeating this thing guys this is way too much so you guys know how we bought the carrier flagship well that is <laughs> that was probably the wrong one so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy a spike storm and uh i think that we're probably gonna be able to defeat this with both abilities i guess like like we just used the spike storm twice 
twice, although this thing is not looking like it's coming off cooldown. Oh my god, it's not. Okay, so let me use the level 3 ability. Let's just get a little bit of damage off, and I think that we're gonna have it, but is it gonna be enough? Let me use it. Yes, there we go. And so now what we need to do is we need to time the siphon plus the spikes. Oh my god, I missed the siphon completely. Okay, so it's just only the spike storm, and then I use men's level 3 ability. Tell me this is gonna be enough. It's really close. A lot of spikes in the back. It's super close. Please, sniper. Oh my god, no, we lost. Come on, that was so close. If I had hit the siphon, I think we had that. Okay, round two of this thing. Let me try it again together, but let's kind of take it slow so that we actually have time to react. We don't even need to siphon like the entirety of the round, just a small. Oh, there we go. Entirety of ceramics. I meant to say, let's use the ability. Let's use the level three as well and hope that this is going to be enough. I think it is actually because, yeah, look at this thing. We got a huge portion of them with the siphon. And there we go. That's all we need to do. Actually, you know what? We're about to enter free play mode and a lot of these towers, especially the sniper and the alchemist and this guy up top, they are not going to be doing anything free play. So let me just buy the carry flagship like right now. And this is also going to make round 80 a lot easier. But yeah, once you get these super ceramics, like these snipers, they don't exactly do anything. I mean, the elite sniper is struggling and let alone, you know, what's going to be what's left for the bouncing bullet sniper, right? So yeah, it, I think it's a good idea to sell those guys. We're also making a lot of money from Benji. And once we hit level 17, this is where the real cash is going to start rolling. So 5k per round, and that's going to allow us to buy whatever we want. So the only thing that we need to do is just hold on for these next few rounds. Okay, so I think that we're actually doing pretty well so far. I'm trying to be a little bit careful while I'm doing this. So two and a half thousand, wait a minute. I think I saw double two and a half thousand dollar kind of prompts appearing uh, over Ben. Wait a minute, are we getting cash for the rounds that we're not playing? And what I mean by that is, did we just get cash for 83 as well? Let's just kind of watch it as soon as this round ends. So he's supposed to be making two and a half per round, so let's just watch. And that's gonna be oh my god i he i think he's actually making double cash wait a minute benji is op on this thing because you're playing half the rounds but you're getting full money oh my god that's so much money actually well when you think about it it kind of makes sense right let's, let's just watch it yes he's making double cash he's absolutely making double cash okay so let me watch it again after this round so we have 49.8k it's gonna be closer to like 50 ish something after we're done with these leftovers so let me just kind of watch let me just use the spike storm as well to clean these guys out so it's 50 what 51 Yes, 61, exactly. He's he's making double cash. Guys, this is insane. You should use Bezin. <laughs> you should use Ben in this one. Yes, absolutely. Let me get the carpet spike right on time, by the way, for round 90, because while well, we have no DD popping powers, that's really cool. Oh my god, Ben is so OP on this. You should use Ben, guys. I I did not know this, man. <laughs> by the way, I, I so I brought Ben along because I knew that we needed money in this thing and it's in pop mode, but I didn't know that he's making double cash. You should absolutely be using Ben for this one. He's OP. Okay, so a handful of rounds left over, and we do have a little bit of a problem, and that is dealing with small balloons so i was thinking if i buy a solver is the solver going to be able to reach on the other side is my question because i'm not sure how much range we can give him like maybe we can give him an alchemist but that's about it so let's go cool like this let me give him the stronger glue and let's give him just something like uh, i think i'm gonna be going for a 4 to 0 alchemist actually i do need some cleanup like that's the only reason why i'm buying this thing so let's give the strongest stimulus just catch his range yeah i think so he can definitely see these big balloons but can he see the small balloons is my question and the answer is yes i think he can very good all right that's amazing and by the way round 96 we skip 95 oh my god this quest okay so now once you stabilize and once you get ben going a hundred thousand dollars he is op guys yeah so as i was saying imagine my first playthrough guys because i didn't have ben i had sigh and i wasn't making any extra money so you can imagine how much i was struggling the first time that i played this and just there you have it i think that this is it's probably gonna be pretty much over we have a couple of rounds left over but ben is making double cash so it shouldn't be that much of an issue this round 96 by the way and we're gonna have now 98 so we're skipping the 45 zmgs and so far it's so good although these guys are kind of making it around so i i don't exactly like this maybe we can buy something for the bat i was thinking of getting the moab a limb so we do have the carpet of spikes but i just don't want to fully rely on it so let me just get the moab a limb just to have an ability to spam and what are we doing for this round maybe i should have siphoned it actually because i know that we're doing well but how well are we doing exactly i see all of these zmgs being alive and i'm just going to use the, the active carpet of spikes we don't have the money for the moab a limb yet and yes i think that we do have this once the zmg spot which they did which is really cool and that's about it with this one right so that's gonna run 98 or is it that's a huge wave of bfbs and moas but i think it's gonna get close but actually we i think we do have it yeah there we go and so finally round 100 moab alum let me just use the ability a couple of times we do have a lot of damage going actually but i just wanted to buy this one as well let me use the moab alum one more time we do have one more carpet of spikes ability and as soon as the the passive one ends we have the active one and that is about it and that's the quest one sided so a really really cool quest kind of a tricky quest i'm gonna be honest and the way that you want to beat this is well it looks like you need to have ben because he made 127 thousand dollars that's insane but anyway that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'm gonna see you on the next one